iframes are a neat way to embed your website within another website and they can be really useful. However, by default in a Rails application, since version like 5 or something, you can't do that without overriding some certain headers. So as an example, I'm trying to iframe my website and it's going to refuse to connect. However, if we select another website and it embeds successfully. So in this episode, we're going to have a look at creating an iframe for our Rails application so that it could be mounted in another application. However, we are going to do it with a little bit of a twist. Let's say in our application, we have some kind of statistic graph or some kind of information that we want to allow the users of this web app to then embed in some other website. So this could be something like a new relic chart that you want to embed on your local internet site or something like that. So we're going to have a embedded link that we can then embed some kind of statistic. That'll then generate a text area with the frame that we can then copy and you'll notice that the source is pointing to our localhost port 3001 and we're going to have this embedded endpoint. And if we were to take this iframe and then paste it in some other application, you'll see that we have the sum stats then embedded in this application and this one is hosted on port 3000. It is a separate web app and I also have ngrok up and running on this example application just so you can see that it does work over SSL as we would expect. And so we're not going to dive into this example application because it is simply just taking the iframe view and then pasting it into one of the HTML pages. But in this episode, we will look at creating this embedded link, having it turn into a text area, and then creating this embeds endpoint so that we can then have an embedded endpoint because we want to approach this carefully. Because if we allow iframing for the entire website, then that could have some negative implications. So we're definitely wanting to control what part of our application we're allowing to be embedded. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.